The book Pen Pal, written by Dathan Auerbach in 2012, was originally a creepypasta story published on Reddit in the subreddit r slash no sleep, and became so popular that a book was made out of the story. He originally published the first chapter of Footsteps without realizing how popular it would become, motivating him to create five more chapters afterward. Pen Pal is made up of six chapters, Footsteps, Balloons, Boxes, Maps, Screens, and Friends. And these six chapters influenced horror authors for years to come, even to the point where if you look up most popular creepypastas, Pen Pal is bound to come up. Here is the story of Pen Pal. The story of Pen Pal is about a boy who is not named throughout the entire novel and his friend Josh. The main character, throughout the story, is followed by an obsessive stalker throughout his entire childhood and teenage years. In an attempt to not spoil the story to you all, I will not get into any specifics, but it gets darker and darker as it goes on. Many creepypastas are usually posted on social media sites and try to convince the reader that what is happening is 100% real. However, this is not always the case. This is the part where I would talk about the author of the story, but Dathan seems to have chosen to remain anonymous. The setting of the story is unknown throughout, throughout the novel, but does contain swamps around the main character's house. When you really think about it, the story of Pen Pal is all about a man who rediscovers moments from his childhood that were originally playful and fun, but with new context becomes much more terrifying than he could have ever imagined. I personally really enjoyed the story because of the progression of events throughout and how it all moves along. Being a horror story, some of the events that occur are very gruesome and melancholy and are truly only enjoyed by those who can handle such topics. The title, Pen Pal, is very significant to the story because the obsessive man stalking the main character is technically also his pen pal. In the second chapter titled Balloons, the main character in his elementary class wrote notes on balloons and sent them out to the public in hopes that they would get a response. And while most kids got normal responses from people, our main character kept receiving strange and creepy pictures from some random individual that we can assume is this obsessive stalker. This is why the title is significant. Lastly, I really wanted to do this novel in particular because I had already read it going into this project, and I also liked the story a lot and would recommend it to anyone who is a fan of horror. Both of these facts made this a perfect book to do a report on. In conclusion, Pen Pal is a great horror book that was originally a horror story posted on Reddit and over time became one of the most popular creepypastas known to the public. Doing this project was fun because the book is fun to talk about and created more incentive than most other novels would have done for me. And that is the story of Pen Pal.